Denmark, DO equals, plus green energy, don't contradict Duder. An energy and environment think tank has called on the Duder administration to issue an executive order to fast track the development of renewable energy sources while reducing dependence on coal. The Center for Energy, Ecology and Development, Steve, made the appeal after President Duder corrected Energy Secretary Alfonso Susi in his State of the Nation address on Monday to speed up the development of renewable energy sources and reduce dependence on traditional energy sources, such as coal. Environment Group said the President's statement should be the signal for government officials to speed up the transition to cleaner energy alternatives, including solar and wind. Provide clear directions, Jerry Rancis, State Executive Director, said an executive order would formalize the President's plan and provide clear policy directions to the Department of Energy, DOD, and the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, Denmark. We also encourage Energy Secretary Alfonso Fusi and Environment Secretary Roy Sainmetu to outline what it means for expanding policies on permitting processes concerning energy projects and coal-fired power plants in the pipeline, Francis said in a statement. We do not want the offices mainly mandated to pursue this transition to be the ones contradicting the President's commitment to the people. Both agencies drew flat from Green Group after the demo recently issued an environmental compliance certificate to a 15 hyphen megawatt coal fired power plant in Palawan province. The plant would adversely impact the public health and biodiversity in the province, thus the country's last ecological frontier, according to anti-coal advocates and residents. Coal, a fossil fuel that emits greenhouse gases, still dominates the country's current energy mix. It is seen as a major contributor to global warming. The share of coal was expected to grow with 30 coal projects in the pipeline, Francis said, even as anti-coal groups warned that coal-fired power plants were increasingly becoming stranding assets. The Philippine Energy Plan, formulated by the DOD, also projects increasing coal use for at least two more decades. Its growth continues even after the passage in 2008 of the Renewable Energy Act, which pushes for a transition away from fossil fuels. Clear signal to Climate Change Commission, CCC. However, said the President correctly sent a clear signal to policy makers, regulators, investors and energy industry executives to promote and invest in more affordable, reliable and cleaner power infrastructure. Renewable energy can provide a major share of the Philippine electricity mix in a stable and reliable manner, and at the same time, increase energy self-sufficiency and reduce supply-related risks, said CCC Secretary Emmanuel Dutman. We must act swiftly to transform our energy sector and to deliver its socio-economic benefits to the Filipino people, he added. Seth Edo thank you for watching. Please subscribe.